Take a look at the course navigation menu at the left. There are a lot of items there. Here's what it looks like to the students. Do they need to see everything? For example, do they need to see pages with the ability to view a list of all the pages in the course? Do we want students to get to quizzes other than through the normal flow of the course? The good news is you have control over what students see in the course navigation menu as well as the order in which items appear. Let's leave student view, click settings, and choose the navigation tab. The top area of the page lists the items that are visible to students. The bottom area lists items that are hidden from students. Let's drag pages to the hidden area and quizzes to the hidden area as well. We'll rearrange the visible list by moving modules and zoom closer to the top of the list. Remember to scroll to the bottom of the page and save your changes. And you'll see them reflected in the course navigation immediately. Pages and quizzes now have an icon next to them that indicates that they aren't visible to students. This same icon can appear on items that you haven't disabled and that indicates that there isn't any content in that category yet. Here's what the student sees after the changes. Pages and quizzes are gone, and modules and zoom are up near the top. How do you decide what should and should not be visible? It depends on the needs of your course. For example, in this student success course, you might not want students to see all your files in their folder structure. We'd go back to settings and drag files to the hidden area and save. But for a computer science course that includes over 200 sample programs, you might want the file's navigation link to be visible. You'd trust the students to know how to navigate this directory structure. There are no strict rules for the course navigation menu, but here's a good guideline. Keep only the items students need to see in order to use your course effectively.